Hi everyone! Welcome back on my channel, Dorota Pagicka, International Nail Artist and Educator here. The Easter is coming very quick, so I thought I would show you some Easter designs, but this is not going to be an Easter egg, because everyone can paint that. And I thought I will show you the cute bunnies, check them out in here. So something pretty quick and great for your clients uh, in a salon if they don't want uh, over-the-top uh, Easter uh, nails. Uh, I thought this is going to be totally cute. So let's start this design. The Easter is around the corner, so uh, that's... Uh, the cute bunnies which we are going to paint. Uh, I didn't want to do the eggs. Uh, I think it's not as interesting on the nail design. So uh, I have prepared those uh, Mrs. and a Mr. Bunny. <laughs> and I will show you how to achieve this look. So I've got my tip prepared as buffed. And then on the side, I'm going to put a couple of the colors. I will be working today with the neon nail ones. So just a tiny bit of pink. I think we'll go for purple as well this time. So a bit of purple. That's a nice purple. And, and that's it for now. Uh, for the ears, we are going to use the paint on French gel and the foil design gel. I use them as a white and black always, uh, just as like they really highly pigmented. So tiny bit of this white and tiny bit of the black. I need two dots of the black, so one will be for painting just a black and then the other one we need to mix it for our grey. So I just move that on the side. And a drop of the top coat as well. And I will be starting with the ears. So for my ears, I'm going to use this pink gel and uh, I find it is just the easiest way for me to paint it with the pink first. So one ear is going to be here. I'm just applying the gel polish in the shape of the, uh, not the teardrop, um, like an oval, flattened oval, <laughs> that's how I would describe it. And then the other ear is going to be bended, because uh, you can see on the lady there is a bended one, and then on the other one is a normal too straight, but I think... It will be better to show you the banded one because it's more difficult. So for the banded, we're painting a triangle shape. So I've got two uh, first ears, like the pinky parts inside. And then once I have painted those pink parts, I can move on into the gray. So to create a gray, I'm going to add a tiny bit of black. And then this way I will get a really nice gray. Because the bunnies are gray. Don't use your brush to mix the paint, because uh, that's my wreck the brush. By the way, I'm using the Micro Styler number 40. It's a great brush for gel painting. Okay, so I've got my grey. Now I'm going to paint the bended ear. So you just outline the triangle and then you peel it down. And then you just have to go above it to thicken up the ear.
because we are painting with the gray on top of the white it's not going to be visible but um, I don't want to put too too dark gray just because the bunny is not going to look nice so what I have done is with my gray on the brush I have dipped in um, my brush into a tiny bit of the black it's almost nothing there just like a very small drop of the black and without of curing I'm just going to give a little bit of the definition into my gray so first of all this way you will be able to see it what we have painted there and then secondly it will stand out a little bit more and I do that on the other side as well so you've got kind of like a really light shadow in there I'm just going to do the same with the pink so I'm picking up the pink drop of the black one and now I can give us some shadow into my pink this shadow is a little bit too big so I'm just dipping in my brush into the gray again and I want to soften it a little bit So well, there we are it's not as strong anymore i can do the second ear as well so dipping in my brush into the gray again and just painting another ear so you just go around the pink parts which you have painted And then dip in your brush into the black, like the tiniest, tiniest amount ever. And give a little bit of shadow. Okay, so we've got two cute ears. Now I'm going to give it a cure just so the design doesn't smudge uh, you don't have to do it full cure you can just do it like a wee flash cure we have to also paint the nose and we have to paint the ears and I think we will do some cute bow or something on his ears so this couple seconds are enough and now I can paint the nose so I'm picking up the middle and the nose is going to be a love heart shape. And because we are painting such a small love heart shape, I find it like uh, pressing, wiggle, and pulling down, down uh, makes the love heart shape the easiest to paint. so that's my nose done again I'm going to give it a flash cure you're better off doing a flash cure because if painting such a small detail you go somewhere wrong then you can easily just wipe it off because the other parts are cured um, I find that it just works the easiest for me for the cheeks we are going to use a drop of the top coat and a tiny bit of those uh, nice light pink and now we are going to paint the cheeks and they are just kind of in the middle of the nose a little bit below maybe So I went a little bit too high with this one, but that's not a problem. We can just push it down a little bit. So I'm just giving it a nice round shape. Again, like with every single design we create, the more time we spend on it, the better it is going to look. So 
Okay, that should be enough. I'm going to give it another flash cure. The bow is going to be purple, like those violet color. And we want this bow in here. So I'm just doing a small dot so I know where the bow is starting. And then we are painting like two triangles or love heart shapes. So whichever is easier for you, you can do two triangles or you can do two love hearts. Yay, we've got cute bow. Again, give it a flash cure. And let's move on into the eyes. This looks already pretty cute. <laughs> So the easiest way to do it is just like prep your brush into a really, really fine lines. And we're going to use the black for it. And then press it, make the eyelash. Start with the same place because you, you can have thicker in here, but the eyelash needs to be thinner. So... And then we've got another one and again starting same place for a third eyelash so this way we have created an cute eye and I'm just going to do the same on the other side And we've got another eye. I'm going to give it a cure because that's kind of precise detail and I don't want that to be wrecked if I have to wipe something. Since we are painting with the black, I'm going to do the mouth part as well. And I think it is not overly too complicated design really. So, small line. And then kind of C shape. See, and I'm not happy with this part. So, I'm just going to wipe it off. And I'm using the tiny bit of the blue scrub, which is a new dehydrator. And now imagine we didn't have the nose cure or we didn't cure the cheeks. That will just make a mess on the other parts, which we was happy with. So always do those flash cure. It doesn't take a long time. It's just a couple seconds. Especially that's if you're painting this design on clients, both hands, you're just swapping them. That's a better mouth. Much better. Now I can give it a cure. Again, couple seconds. <coughs> and we are just going to do the final touches bits and pieces and then that will be our cute bunny finished uh, instead of the bows you could also do like um, little uh, flowers or like couple gems I'm just painting three small dots 
and I'm going to add a little bit more detail on the bow. So I'm mixing the black with the drop of this purple which I have used. You don't want to use um, just a black on its own, it will be too strong color. And I'm just outlining the bow a little bit so it stands out more. Okay, now pure black. And I have just painted two tiny, tiny wee lines in there. I have to give it a proper cure, stick a gem into it, and that's basically our design finish. So I have really, I'm hoping like that you have enjoyed this kit tutorial. Uh, and if you did, share it so the others can see it as well. And also the channel can grow uh, much bigger. I will really appreciate that. For the gems, I'm going to use the brush on Nyolgu. And I will just apply a small drop of it and then we can just top coat everything. So it doesn't take long really to paint those kind of cute bunny. Yay! A little bit of blink always does good. You have to wait for the glue always to dry, otherwise you will damage the brush on your top coat. And now I'm just going to top coat it. Very easy design. I'm kind of going very careful around this gem because I'm worried the glue didn't dry properly yet. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button as there is lots of great tutorials. Put a bit of hair or something. Yeah, that's it finished. I'm just going to give it a final cure and then I show you the design. Uh, I get also lots of requests with different tutorials. I do keep the list of them like so I have a list and I am really just trying to find the time to to be able to do all kind of designs and, and structure you have requested. Uh, so even if you don't see something what you have asked for uh, for a wee while, it doesn't mean like I forgot about you. It's more really I'm trying to kind of get it into the schedule and, and work out something to find a time for it. And that's our cute design finished. You can have a wee look. And we've got all the family of the cute bunnies. Thanks guys for watching. Bye!